Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel today. In this video, I want to discuss Xtool Creative Space, or XCS. Xtool Creative Space is a design software made for Xtool engravers, providing a user-friendly interface and tools to create and modify designs. Unlike other engraving softwares, XCS is free and very user-friendly. I've made this video to help inform you guys on why you should or shouldn't choose Xtool Creative Space over some of the other engraving platforms. The choice is ultimately up to you. So here's a breakdown of some of the pros and cons. To start off with the pros. Number one, Xtool Creative Space has a user-friendly interface that is designed for ease of use. XCS offers a beginner-friendly interface with drag-and-drop capabilities as well as stock images that make it easy and accessible for new users to laser engrave. So over here on the sidebar, there's a bunch of different image tools that you can use and add stock images into your blank document. So here, plants and animals, trees and patterns. So there's a lot of different ideas that you can use here. Create shapes and lines. Uh, add text, and there's a lot of other pretty cool design tools that I'll go over here in a minute. Number two, direct compatibility. Xtool Creative Space is specifically optimized for Xtool laser engravers, which means it integrates well with these types of machines, offering a seamless connectivity and fewer compatibility issues. So to connect an engraver to Xtool Creative Space, you would just come over here to the side, click connect a device, and then find your engraver. Once you see your engraver come up, mine is an Xtool D1 Pro, hit connect. Number three, there's basic design tools on Xtool Creative Space that really makes it easy for a beginner to edit and create designs. It includes essential tools for basic design creation, allowing users to perform standard tasks like cutting, engraving, shaping, and even adding text or images directly within the software. So here's an example. If I come up to the side here, in the top left corner where it says images, I can insert an image from my documents. So here is an image of a dog. I can take this image, I can edit it and remove the background. So now it is a transparent image. I can trace around the image I can filter the image and, and make it look different. This will be something that's a lot more used for pictures. I can adjust the look of the image. I can crop the image, outline around the outside or the inside of the image. And I use this a lot to make earrings to outline around the outside and then engrave the inside. And once I have that, I can come over to the side here and either score, engrave, or cut around that outline. And if I don't want to do that, I remove the outline and here I am on the image and I can engrave it on any piece of material that I'd like. So it's really simple to get to learn the Xtool Creative Space interface. Number four and most important to me when I was a new engraver is that Xtool Creative Space is free which makes it very attractive for users who want to avoid reoccurring costs associated with some of the more robust design softwares. Number five, there are regular updates with Xtool Creative Space, adding new features and improving functionality based off of user feedback. So you can come up here to the top, settings, about XCS, and then check for updates. And you can see I'm updated to the latest version. And there are a couple of others, like the new AI software or some of the templates that they give you to use. So you don't have to decide on the speed and power for every different type of material that you're using. If you're trying something new, you can see what Xtool recommends and then use what they use. But one of the other things I wanted to mention is here up at the top on the home screen, you can find different templates and designs of other Xtool Creative Space users. This is very neat if there's something like here's some Christmas ornaments as it's close to the Christmas time right now. You can use these engravings that other people have created and change them up a little bit and make some great gifts or use them as something to sell. 
So it's definitely good to play around with Xtool Creative Space because it is a free software. So you're not out anything trying to use it. Now to go over some of the cons associated with Xtool Creative Space. Number one, there's limited advanced features. So compared to some of the more powerful design softwares like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, Xtool Creative Space has fewer advanced design capabilities, which may be limiting for some experienced designers. So for example, if you're looking for detailed design work, commercial engraving, or precise control over a vector image, Illustrator or Corel Draw or some other advanced design software is a better choice. However, if you're primarily focused on engraving basic tasks with an Xtool engraver, XES's simplicity and compatibility make it convenient and the most cost-effective choice. So for instance, if you want an advanced image like this, and this is just one I pulled off of Google, this is going to be one that's hard and nearly impossible to create and edit through Xtool Creative Space. Now, if you can find a similar image through the Shapes tab here on the left-hand bar, that makes it a lot easier. But for an image like this, you would have to create it through a different software and then import it over to Xtool Creative Space if that's what you choose to use. And so that kind of leads to number two. Xtool Creative Space is not ideal for complex designs. For intricate, for highly detailed work, users may find it challenging to achieve the same precision and flexibility offered by more advanced design softwares. Advanced photo engraving and raster image editing features are limited, which can be a drawback if you need detailed control over image processing. So I can speak for myself a little bit here. I've added images before to Xtool Creative Space and tried to engrave them on a couple different pieces of wood for some different plaques. And I did have some trouble editing the images enough where it would be dark on the plaque, but not so dark that it burnt the piece of wood. So that's something to think about. And number three, there are potential bugs and performance issues. Xtool Creative Space is a relatively new software and there can be occasional bugs or performance issues especially after major updates. But there are generally Xtool message boards, help desks, or videos that can help solve your problems. Again, I can speak for myself. I've had to re-download Xtool Creative Space a few different times because it wasn't wanting to pull up when I clicked on it on my computer. And I don't know why that is, but I would just come to the top once I get it and make sure that it's updated to the newest update and once I've done that it normally works good for another six months to another year. So in conclusion, Xtool Creative Space is an accessible and effective tool for beginners and hobbyists who use Xtool engravers. They offer simplicity and direct integration. However, for more intricate and professional projects, advanced users may benefit from pairing it with a feature-rich design software to unlock greater creative potential and precision. As a testament to Xtool Creative Space, I've been using it now for nearly two years and have had very minimal complaints about the engraver and the software. So it's something that I highly recommend to a new engraver. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you found some benefit and hopefully were able to make a decision whether you wanted to use Xtool Creative Space for your laser engraving ventures. Like I've said before, there are definitely many other great softwares to use, and I'm just partial to this one because this is the one I use more than any of the rest of them. So please like and subscribe and visit my channel for some more engraving tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Also, if you're looking to buy an engraver, there's some great links and ideas in the description below to get you started. So thanks, and have a great one.